Good morning. Ready for week 11, lesson 43 in grammar. All right, so we've been learning about adjectives and adverb phrases, prepositional adjective and adverb phrases. Today, we're going to review some definitions of things, and we're going to learn about this funny little thing here called misplaced modifiers. These right here sometimes can get you to giggling so much that you just don't know what you're going to do. So these, you may or may not remember this phrase, but you need to because they'll be fun. Okay, so what you need to do first is you'll need to pause this program and you'll need to fill in all these definitions, okay? And these prepositions, okay? The, the list of them, there's a list of them somewhere in this packet that you have. So go back and get all your uh, definitions. You might even have to look back at uh, last week's or even the week before that. I don't know, just get your packets and go ahead and fill out all this stuff. Do all your definitions. Fill out these prepositions. When you're done, turn it back on and we'll finish the lesson. Okay, I'm assuming you got everything finished and filled in and all that. I'm not going to have to go over it. It's just really for you, kind of notes for you to take down. All right, so we're going to start with this funny little thing called misplaced modifier. Uh, I understand today is a little bit longer uh, lesson than normal, and I apologize for that, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's look at this sentence. The cat scratched Brock's sister with the striped tail. Okay, this is what we call a misplaced modifier because it's modifying, is it modifying Brock's sister? Or is it modifying the cat? Most likely it's modifying the cat. So it should be the cat with the striped tail scratched Brock's sister. But instead, instead, some person decided to make it sound like Brock's sister has a striped tail. It's what we call a misplaced modifier. Sometimes these can be very funny. So a misplaced modifier is an adjective phrase in the wrong place. And I have to say, being from the South, from Texas, I'm probably really bad at this. <laughs> Maybe not so much when I write, but I'm sure when I talk. And many times I know my kids have looked at me and gone, what are you talking about? So let's look at this one. The beautiful girl was dancing with the handsome man in the red dress. <laughs> Okay, so how about in the red dress, we might say is going to modify, this is an adjective phrase that it should be modifying the beautiful girl in the red dress. Okay, on the pizza, Molly ate the mushrooms. Okay, was she sitting on the pizza? No. How about this? Molly ate the mushrooms on the pizza. I cut my finger while I was cooking badly. <laughs> <laughs> Were you cooking badly or did you cut your finger badly? You see how this is? Okay. Or I guess while I was cooking, I cut my finger badly. Either way. But you get the drift. These are misplaced modifiers. Like I said, they can be really funny sometimes. So underline all the prepositional phrases in the following sentences. Write ADJ above the adjective phrases and ADV above the adverb phrases. So now this is going to be the hard part. Telling if it's, if it's modifying, you know, if it's an adjective, if it's describing, or if it's an adverb. Okay. On her birthday, Etta received a powerful telescope with a tripod. So let's do the, let's underline them all first. On her birthday uh, with a tripod. Okay. Uh, this is modifying a telescope, which would be adjective because it's describing which telescope. This one on her birthday, Etta. I believe this is an adjective because this is telling when. Let's check. Oh, I'm wrong. 
adverbial. I started to say that. Adverbial because it's telling on oh, her birthday. When? Is that what an adverb tells? I can't remember. You'll have to look back and see. But yes, that, that would be correct. I was wrong. I was wrong. This would be adverbial. Well, since I got one wrong, I have to do another one. Let's do this one. With her new telescope, she could see four of the moons of Jupiter. Okay, with her new telescope, she could see four of the moons of Jupiter. Okay, with her new telescope, this will be adverbial because it's modifying C, could see. Okay, could see four of the moons. That would be of Jupiter. Um, I hope you got these right before I did because I'm having trouble. She could see four of the moons, which I'm trying to remember the questions, the adjectives and the adverbs answer. I know you probably have those in front of you. Uh, she could see, I believe this is adjective. Let's check. Yeah. Both of those are adjectives. Okay. Okay, I have to do another one since I didn't get that one right. She tracked their movement over several weeks. Prepositional phrase. Tracked movement over several weeks. She tracked it. I believe this is adverbial. Mm-hmm. Ta-da! She tracked their movement over several weeks because it tells about, it tells when she tracked it, which would be adverbial. Yeah, it's going to be easier, I think. I should have those written down right in front of me, what an adjective answers and what an adverb answers, but I don't. Shame on me. I should. You should. And so if you have those right in front of you, you should be able to see and know uh, what they are going to answer. So anyway, go ahead and pause it. See if you can finish this right quick and then turn it back on and we'll check it. Okie dokie. Let's check the rest of these. See how you did. Okay, if you missed a whole lot of those, let me know, and I will try and help you with these. I, to be honest with you, I struggle with these sometimes, um, and it's only my fault because I haven't studied those, what they modify and the questions they answer. But anyway, if you had a lot of trouble, just let me know. All right, let's move to the last part, and this is going to be kind of a fun part. We get to, um, so I'm showing you the key. I guess I should come over here and not show you the key. Okay, that'll be this part. Uh, 43B, uh, you're going to correct the misplaced modifiers. They did the first one. So you'll find what's misplaced and you'll circle it. My kids are having a really hard time. Okay, anyway, so you're going to find the misplaced adjective uh, and adverb phrase in the following sentences, draw an arrow to where it should be. So inside the donut, Derek licked the cream filling. Was Derek inside the donut? No. So I think probably we should take this one. Derek licked the cream filling inside the donut. So that's what you'll do. Okay? You'll probably get tickled over some of these. So go ahead and pause it as you finish the rest of this and we'll check it. Alright, so let me go ahead and get the answers pulled up here. Go ahead and check these. All right, hope you did well on those. All right, so I know that was a long lesson. Tomorrow we'll be ready to do lesson 44. All right, that's all for today.